Hello, welcome to Keynote Introduction. In this video, we're going to create a slide deck with Keynote. So to kick Keynote off, let's press Command and Spacebar, bring up Spotlight, type in Keynote, and we'll open a new document. There are a number of themes to choose from. As you scroll down, And some of them have more options than might be immediately visible. We're going to use a simple My Presentations Dynamic Clouds background, but before that, let's set the width. We're going to go with a wide 16.9 layout and then select the presentation theme. What we see on the screen is a navigator on this side the deck on, on, on the middle here, and then controls for format, animate, and document-related data. So let's come back to the slide and begin building out a deck. We can click on the slide on the navigator, right-click, and we can duplicate. Or we can add a new slide. Another way to add a slide is to come to this Add Slide right here, click that, and then we can choose the type of slide that we want. Since we already have a first page, we probably want a second page. And this is a standard format for most slides. There's a slide title, a subtitle, and bullets. So we can make more of these if we want. Let's add another slide. So in this version here, we, we get the slide title and the subtitle, but there isn't a bullet box below it. Let's see what else is out there. We can add a blended image slide like this. So we have an image, a slide title, a subtitle, and of course bullets that we can add data to. Let's see about adding another slide. We could have a page with just images and we could also have a blank slide so we can add any content that we prefer to add ourselves, whether it's video, audio, or text. And let's add one more, although we won't dive into it in great detail. This version, where you've got the slide, subtitle, etc., and you've got a default camera. So let's see about turning this camera on. We're going to go to live video, and we're going to look at the default cameras. Let's add a video source, and we can see that we can add an external camera, and a phone, or another device. Let's see whether we can go ahead and pick up a iPhone camera, and let's add that. We are looking at the iPhone camera, and it's looking at the setup here with the work we're doing and the second monitor that's behind it. So we'll just turn this off for now. And we'll delete the slide because this is an advanced session we'll cover in a separate video. So we select that slide, and we right-click and delete. So now a slide presentation has a opening slide, a slide, standard slide, a slide without the bullets, something with a picture, something with nothing but pictures, and a blank slide at the end. So that's our slide deck components. topic is create a keynote deck. It's an introductory session. And that's the first slide made. On the second slide, we usually want to bring over this heading over to every other slide that has a heading. So we'll come back here. On the second slide, we'll add that heading. The third slide will add that heading. The fourth slide will add it right there. The fifth doesn't have anything, and this has none. So 
And let's go back to the second slide here. And let's talk about opening op and creating a deck. Let's go down to the slide bullets and say use spotlight to find and open keynote. Set aspect ratio whether you want a 4 by 3 or a wide standard display and then uh, select a theme and that opens it up to a page then we select page options and add many pages as needed and then we edit each page finally we play the deck so these these are the bullet points we're working with so we've already covered spotlight and opening keynote setting the aspect ratio selecting a theme and we've selected page options and we've added all the pages now on each page, we'll go ahead and add the contents of instructions that we want to cover in that page. So on this page here, we probably want to say something about, you know, let's say editing. And maybe we want to draw some shapes in here. So we'll drag that shape, draw it there, and we can go back to the right side to change the background color we can adjust a border and say yeah we want a border and we want the border to be let's say a bright blue there we are uh, shadows etc and let's say we add another shape and we'll leave that in black and white perhaps we want to add text That covers this particular slide. Going on to the next one, we've got to look and say, what are we doing for the subtitle here? And maybe we want to show a page. And we're going to replace this image. So let's click on that image. We'll see the little squares on the around the picture showing that this image has been selected and we can select image up here and we can now replace it so let's replace that and let's go and pick up an image and we've replaced it we can now size the image if we want to change the size we can say right here that select the image Click select select image options on the right. Select replace image resize. And we have this slide done. On this slide, we have the same option. We can select an image here, go up to the image selection, and replace. And let's say we decided to replace it with uh, this one. And we can do the same for these other two images. Finally, we come to the last page, and we can do what we want to do on this page. We can elect to add a table. And we can scroll around and say, I want to pick a table like that. Drag that table over. We can reduce the size to fit our requirements. And we can add a chart. We have 2D charts, 
3D charts and interactive charts. Let's just pick a 2D chart to make the illustration. Uh, there it is. We've already added text and shapes and we can add media if we want to. We could add music, images, web videos, recording, live audio, and more. And finally, you might want to add a comment that says something about the demo, which we're not going to do. We have, oh, let me make that a little larger so we can see the script. There, that's better. So we have our slide decks all selected here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we've looked at, in the course of creating these slides, editing the text on templates, adding shapes, replacing images, and adding tables and charts. So these are the functions that you need to make pretty much any slide deck. Let's look at what we do with it once we're done. We can go up to File, we can save it, we can save as, or we can export it to a PDF, a PowerPoint, a movie, an animated GIF, etc. But let's look at what actually happens. If we select this play button here, the slide deck will play. What pops up on the right is something that the presenter sees. The display screen projected will show only the data on the blue screen. The presenter can look at this slide here and say, we're currently on this first slide, create a keynote. The next slide is going to have this content. And when the creator presses enter, the slide moves on. Let's move this off screen. We don't need this. Uh, and the slides go forward as we press enter. And then we end the slideshow. In our next video, we'll take a look at transitions. Thanks for watching.